Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review video. I have seven books, and they're all different varieties. So let's just get right into it with Yankee Doodle Dead. It's by Carolyn Hart. This is what it looks like. And I wanted to read this book last year around the 4th of July because this takes place around the 4th of July. Um, this couple, um, Annie and Max, Annie runs a death by demand um, bookstore which is mostly about mysteries and Max is kind of like I think he's either like a detective or like a cop or something like that well something happens where this board member um, dies this lot what was it called the library board member dies and everybody thinks it's because they find out that he used to sell fake knockoffs of famous art pieces and all that stuff and it takes place around the 4th of July like I said now though I remember I've had one of these books before and I forget what holiday or whatever because it, it they usually take place around like holidays these type these type of books and I remember why I didn't really like these books it was because um, every couple sentences she would bring up oh this is just like what happened in blah 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 book by whoever and there was always mystery books and I just it it just took away from the story for me because it felt like it was just getting annoying every couple uh, pages she would bring up oh I like these books and blah 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 and I know it's, it's like to probably get you to like read those books but I just thought it got annoying after a while because some of the books I really didn't know, which I know is the whole point of that. But I just, I just didn't like it. I, I that's one of the most annoying things in a book for me, especially when it's constant in the book. But other than that, it was a good book. I don't know if I'm gonna read any more of these books though. They really didn't pique my interest, kind of. So this next book is called Princess Ever After. It's the Royal Wedding series. This is the second book in the series, the f and it's by Rachel Hook. I guess that's how you say her last name. I don't know. That's what it looks like, and this is kind of like a modern fairy tale. It's about this girl who her, f her family on her mother's side was the royal line to this small country that's controlled by another country and it's been like that for i don't know how i forget how many years it was and it doesn't stay on the back but they've been ruled by this um other country for a long time and this um i forget this doctrine or contract they had with each other ends and in order for it to end so that they don't so they can be in so that they can um, break free from this other country, they have to have the royal heir, and that's her. Um, her mom died, so it's her now, and she doesn't know it. This guy who works for, like, the cat, the, the minister of culture, that's what his name is, that's what his title is, he comes to take her back home, and the whole time she's trying to figure out, she's, she's not the type of, like, girly girl princess type she likes to get down and dirty she likes to um make cars she likes to um do sports you know she's not like the typical princess type if you get what i mean and the whole time that she she decides to go back to this country she is debating about like i don't fit in here but everybody at home is moving on with their lives um stuff like that so she has to figure out where she belongs in this world of princess stuff so this one i really like this book um it was it's a short little book it's called the secret life of a knitter um it's yarn harlot it's by stephanie pearl mcphee this is what it looks like and i it's a cute little book it's about this woman I think it's about the author, I think. Um, kind of like her like little like life story about her knitting adventures. Each chapter it's divided into five parts. Each each it's not chapters, but each it 
parts of uh, the parts are divided into little stories about how she started knitting and how her knitting stash gets out of control and Christmas stuff and it's a cute little book. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's only got 220 some pages in it or 230-ish depending if you read the acknowledgements in the back. This book I really liked. I have another book um, that I'm going to read but I'm not going to get to it for a while because I like to go in order with my um, I have like bags and then a shelf. So I read out of the bags first and then I I get to the shelf like last. But this is called the Yada Yada Prayer Group. It's by Netta Jackson. This is what it looks like. And basically it's about this woman who goes to this like I don't know how you would describe it. It's like a conference kind of thing. Or like I forget how they worded it. It's like a conference or like an expo kind of thing where all these women are at this conference together, and during the conference, um, they're all from different churches and different backgrounds, and they, um, all these women get into small little groups at the end of the night or during the day, and they have a prayer group, and if you're not religious or anything like that, you're probably not going to like this book, but I liked it. There's another book, like I said, I have over on my shelf, I think it's like the sequel to it, but basically, it's kind of, I like this, those kind of stories where it's basically about women who have their own little stories that, you know, they get resolved during the book some way. And I really enjoyed it. I really like those type of books. And the chapters weren't that bad. Um, there was like 41 chapters, but they were like small chapters. There was like one or two in here that were like um, longer than the rest of them. But it was a nice book, and I really enjoyed it. I like these type of books where, you know, like, it's, like, like four different women or something, and then they each get their stories told and whatever. But it was a really nice book. I really enjoyed it, and especially because it was multicultural. There was a lot of people in this book, like, from different backgrounds. There was a one from Jamaica. There was one from South America, Hon South Africa, Honduras, Jamaica. Um, there was a woman who was, um... I forget how they call it, but it's like she's a Jew. She's Jewish, but she goes to a Christian church. That's her. I forget. I know. I don't know how to say it. it's ma Manzanic, Messianic. I don't know. M e s s i a n i c. There's a one who she dumps the Hindu religion to become a Christian, and she's worried about what her parents are gonna think. That type of thing. It was just a cool book. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. So this book, this book was just okay. I really didn't get into it. It's called A Year in Provence. It's by Peter Maley. That's what it looks like. It's about this man who, um, Peter Maley, actually, who ends up getting this 200-year-old farm in this little country royal, 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 I don't know how to say it. It's like, you know, royal, Roy, no, rural. That's how I, I can never say that word. And it's just about his life working on this farm for a year. It, it, I just didn't get into it. Um, like, it was an okay book. I just really didn't get into it a lot. Like, I don't know why I just didn't. I don't know if it's because, like, I, it took me a while to read. And because, like, because I work and everything. I don't know. But it might, it might just been because of that. I don't know. But it was a really good book. I just didn't get into it like I thought I would because it was a smaller book. So this book I really didn't get into. And it's a classical book. And it's um, North a Northang Hanger Abbey. It's by Jane Austen. That's what it looks like. And it's about this woman who... I don't, I didn't really get into the story, but it's like, she goes off to Bath, England, and she has this adventure-ish type of thing, I guess, I don't really know, and then she falls in love with this man, I don't know, I really didn't enjoy it, I really didn't like it, but I just, I had it on my shelf, so I thought, well, I might as well read it, because I know I'm not going to read it anytime soon, but, and then she ends up, um, I think she ends up getting married in the book. I don't remember. But it doesn't get to, like, the Abbey until, like, the last couple of chapters of the book. Which I didn't think was, like, well, 
that's the time of the book. It should be in the book more, but whatever. So this book I really did enjoy. This book is, I have a couple of these books. It's Princess Elizabeth Spy. It's by Susan Ela McNeil. It's a Maggie Hope mystery. Now this book isn't the first book in the series. I didn't know which, I thought I had him in order, or I had him in order, and then when I put him on my shelf, I put him in a different order, I guess. So this is actually, like, I guess, like the second book in this series, I think, because the first one is, I think, Mr. Churchill's secretary, and I have that over there. So this is what it looks like. And basically, it takes place during w the war. Um, it's about w World War II, and um, Queen Elizabeth II's father is king, and she's just a girl who's just a princess with her sister. And there's some type of thing going on where, um, I guess it was like a plot to kidnap her or something. So this woman who used to be Churchill's secretary gets this job of being like the spy through that, which is just like, she's trying to make sure that nobody's infiltrated Windsor Castle yet. That's where the two princesses are. So she goes undercover as, um, a math tutor. I think it is. Something like that. And it's a really good book. I really like it. Like, I got into it. It was really good. I don't know. Did I show oh, this what it looks like? But, um, yeah. So that this is actually the second book in the series. And I really liked it. I I really got into it. Like, I, like I'll probably keep this book because I really enjoyed it. And I just liked it. It was a really good book. So, that was all of my books for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.